I'm gonna do the release right here so I can go find my net. Gone. All right, guys. I have a net floating somewhere in the reservoir. Not very far from me because I just had it. So let's go see if we can find it. Lost that net before and uh, actually did not find it. So went in for supper and uh, left it out here for about an hour and a half. And as you can see, the water calmed down a little bit so we could see for a little bit longer distance. And lo and behold, we got our net. That's awesome. Nice. Woo! Ah, uh, I just, it's, it's calm enough. I could see something sticking out of the water. That's really good. Well, that makes me a lot happier. All right. Back to doing some evening fishing here. Uh, switched over to my Ugly Sticks GX2 uh, Ultralight with my Mitchell 308. And uh, just picked one up here. Doesn't feel huge, but it's given some good head shakes. Nice to be doing some evening fishing. We don't do enough of that. Oh, that's a nice fish. Nothing wrong with that one. That's a nice fish. Yeah, another good one. All right. All right, this happens my wife's out here so she can film this. Nice fish. Pretty good one. Uh, not huge by any stretch compared to a couple of the other ones I caught today, but uh, 27 inches, so not bad. That'll put that one in that four pound range again. Uh, again, nice and thick and fought really well. So feels good to be on camera and uh, we'll get this one in the water and get it released. He's gone. <laughs> you have to be exactly the right depth in this place. Oh, some nice head shakes. He's not a huge one. He's fighting good. Wow. Good scrapper. Really good scrapper. Have not seen it yet. There we go. Oh, another nice one. Another nice one. That's a bigger one when you can't get them in the net. Got him. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Whew. Oh. Oh, he's out of the net and gone. <laughs> that was another six, seven pounder. Oh man. Okay, so if I can hold on to this one, this will be my 10th fish. You guys can see beautiful evening out here. Sun's just going down. It's uh, 7 p.m. Nice fall evening, late summer evening, I guess. This is not a very big one, but took me in the weeds too. Haven't seen it yet. Got a head shake there. There we go. 
Yeah, tiny one. Oh, now I decided he was gonna run. <laughs> Oh, barely hooked, barely hooked, barely hooked, barely hooked. Small one here. Actually, another one that I'm probably just going to release right here. If I can grab it. It's swimming in my net, so there we go. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Gone. That's how hard it is sometimes to hold a pike without uh, grippers. Now you can get them in the gills. Some people will put their hands in their gills, but I don't like to do that. So um, I'd rather they just get away like that one just did. All right. Uh, we got about half an hour worth of fishing left here. So all right, everybody, we're about 60 seconds after the last one here. So it seems like they're picking up right into the evening here this is a uh, probably my smallest of the day yeah definitely my smallest of the day you can tell by the way it was fighting um yeah look at that that's about as small as they come and he swallowed that hook there he goes gone oh that's good i thought i was gonna have to struggle to get that hook out um as I was saying before, you guys, beautiful evening out here. There's my wife off in the distance. She's checking out the pelicans. Um, currently sitting in about two meters or six feet of water, but I'm going to go out a little bit deeper. Uh, water temperature here is 16 degrees, and that's what's significant. Uh, earlier in the year here, the water temperature at Badger was about 21 degrees, so it's already come down five degrees, and so it's triggering that we're going into fall. And uh, there's a big fish right there. I'm gonna cast. Um, some of these fish are starting to, to get more active and they're coming back into the shallower water. So uh, that's why we're out here. And uh, from an evening perspective, just don't get out evening fishing very often. So um, took a chance to kind of come out here uh, in the afternoon and into the evening to see if uh, the bite would pick up and uh and just to be out here it's temperature wise it's about i don't know 20 21 degrees right now or 70 fahrenheit so still beautiful to be out here um and there's no bugs at this time of year which is great so all in all it's a pretty awesome evening to be out fishing All right, so clearly the bite is picking up here. Again, about two minutes after the last one. Uh, I think it's another small one. Yeah, another small one. Took me in the weeds. Another very small one. <laughs> Almost the same size as the last one. All right, I think this one's a little bit better than those small ones. Some better head shakes. It's not a monster by any stretch, but definitely not as small as those tiny little ones I just caught. Oh. In the weeds on me. There we go. Oh, I think this one's got a growth on it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, this one's got a growth on its stomach. I actually think it's been bitten by a, another pike, and part of its stomach is sticking out of it. That's what that is. This thing has been attacked by another pike and part of its stomach is sticking out. I have never seen that before. But you can clearly see the bite mark right there and another bite mark on the tail. This has been bitten multiple times. All right, that one's gone. 
Let's go get the net. So there you go. That's how I lost the net last time. Because I didn't put it back in the rod holder. So that's the second time. I'm getting bad at this. You'd think I would have learned the first time. All right. All right, so that's it. Uh, hold out for the evening here. Uh, there's definitely bugs here. <laughs> there weren't as many on the water, but uh, pretty good day on the water. Can't complain about that. 13 fish. Uh, that's always a good day fishing. Uh, caught three that were over five pounds for sure. Um, didn't get a weight on them because a couple of them got away and, and the one I just let go because I had lost the net. Thankfully we recovered it. So that's probably the best catch of the day is getting the net back. So uh, thanks for joining us on another awesome day and uh, another great day out here at Badger Lake. If you like the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. And until next time, good fishing. Oh, that's exactly how it happened right there.